Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a cash denomination calculator in Excel. You can use a simple spreadsheet that calculates the number of each denomination needed to make up a given cash amount. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to building the calculator. Let's get started. How to create a cash denomination calculator. Step 1. Set up your Excel spreadsheet. Open a new Excel workbook and create a new worksheet. Create a table. You can title the table, Cash Denomination Calculator, or any other suitable name. Step 2. Define denominations. Decide on the denominations you want to use in your calculator. For example, you might choose $100, $50, $20, $10, $5, $1. So, starting from B2, enter the denominations you choose in each column. Step 3. Label cell, cash amount. Label the cell in your worksheet to identify the cash input fields. For example, in cell A2, type, cash amount. Starting from cell A3, you can input the cash amount for which they want to calculate the denominations. For example, $199. Step 4. Create the calculation formula. In cell B3, you will write the formula to calculate the count of each denomination. The formula should be based on the cash amount entered by the user in A3 and the denominations specified in row 2. For example, if cell B2 contains the value for $100 and cell A3 contains the cash amount, you can use the following int formula in cell B3. Step 5. Calculate remaining amount. If you want to see if there's any remaining amount that couldn't be accounted for the current denomination, you can calculate it using the additional formula. In cell C3, type the int formula. Step 6. Drag the formula from C3 to G3 to paste the formula. You will see cell references or range references applied to different cells according to the formula. Step 7. Test the calculator. Now, you can test your calculator by entering different cash amounts in column A, and it will automatically calculate the number of each denomination required to make up that amount. You can also add a new row, insert a new cash amount under the current cash amount, and drag the formula down from B5, G5 to B6, G6. How this formula works. The int function in Microsoft Excel is used to round a given number down to the nearest integer by removing any decimal portion. $100 is in the first denomination, the function int. A3 divided by B2 will only keep the integer and remove the remainder. In cell B3, the returned value is 1. In cell C3, refer to the same rule. We want to use the int function to divide the remaining cash amount by the following domination, $50. We need to know two values, the remaining amount, and the next denomination value. The denomination is $50 which is defined in cell C32, so we need to calculate the remaining amount now. In fact, the remaining cash amount is calculated by input amount minus the row of denominations multiply the row of count numbers. In cell C3, the mathematical operation is the amount in cell A3 minus the first denomination $100 in cell B2 multiplies the number in cell B3. And if in cell D2, the operation is, the amount in cell A3 minus the denominations $100 and $50 in range B2. C2 multiplies the numbers in B3, C3. To perform element-wise calculations on multiple arrays and then sum up the products of corresponding elements, we can use the sum product function. The sum product function allows you to perform mathematical operations on arrays and then sum the results. So in cell C2, we enter $A3 SUM PRODUCT, $B2 dollars, 2 Brunei dollars, 3 Brunei dollars, B3. The dollar locks certain cell or ranges to absolute values, so that they are locked in place after the formula is pasted into other cells. By using the absolute values, after dragging the formula to cell D2, the two arrays are B2, C2, B3, C3 and drag it to D4, the two arrays are B2, C2, B4, C4. Q 
keep applying the int function to calculate the number of the current denomination. See, the formula works properly. That's it. You've now created a basic cash denomination calculator in Excel. Thanks for watching.